Hey everyone, it's Anthony from Pretty Printed here. In today's video, I'll be talking about how to use order by, how to use limit, and how to use offset in Flask SQL Alchemy queries. So these videos are from my Flask SQL Alchemy Basics course. So if you haven't joined it already, I'll put a link in the description below so you can check out all the videos I have on how to use Flask SQL Alchemy. So I hope you enjoy these videos, and if you have any questions, uh, just leave a comment down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. So thank you for watching and I will talk to you next time. So a lot of times when we're writing queries, we want the results to come back in a certain order. So to use that, we use order by. So first, let me give you an example of a query that doesn't have an order by. So I'll do member.filter or member.query all. And I get Anthony, Michelle, Zach, and Carr. If I wanted to order by, let's say the username, I could do that instead. So if I can do something like member.query.orderby and then pass in which column I want to order by. So I'll say member.username and then all. When I run this, I should get the usernames in alphabetical order in my list. So it should go Anthony, Michelle, well actually Anthony, Carr, Michelle, then Zach. Okay, so I see Anthony's first because it starts with A, then Carr, then Michelle, and then Zach. So if I wanted to order by something else, I can do member.query order by, and let's do member.id instead, and then all. So that should give me Michelle, then Anthony, then Zach, then Carr, which is exactly what I get because Michelle starts at two, and then it increases to three, then four, and then five. So order buys are nice when you want to return the first result. So let's say you order by an important column. Uh, let's use the same example here where I just order by the member ID, query.order by, and then I say member ID. And instead of giving me everything, I just want the first thing. And it gives me Michelle. And if I order by something different, I do the username again and give me the first result. And I forgot the underscore by. I get Anthony. And finally, just remember that the queries are generative. So if I do something like uh, member.query and then I want to add a filter, let's say uh, the username is going to be either Anthony or Username is going to be car. I can have that query here and I can execute that query, which will give me uh, Anthony and car, or I can add the order by to it. And let's say I order by member dot username. And then I do all gives me the same result, but I was able to add on the order by to the query. So just remember, unless you call something like all or first or one, something along those lines, one of those methods, you can always continue adding to your query. So that's it for order by, pretty straightforward. A lot of times when we write queries, we don't wanna return all the data, we only want to return some of it. So to do that, we can use limits. So let's say instead of having uh, all four results return here, we only want the first two. So let me demonstrate how to do that. So if I do something like member.query.all, that gives me four results. But if I want to limit that to the first two, I would do member.query.limit, pass in two, and then do all. And now I see only Anthony and Michelle forever. And if I put an order by in there before, so if I do member.query, then order by, let's say member.username, and then give me all, I have Anthony, Carr, Michelle, and Zach. So as long as I do the limit after that order by, then I can uh, say which results I want. So if I only want Anthony and Carr, I say limit by two after applying the order by. So order by member, uh, username, limit two, and then all. So I get Anthony and Carr. And let's just contrast that with not ordering by. So limit two, and then all. And I get Anthony and Michelle forever because those are the 
results in the database. It's basically the row ID. Well, it really depends on how the database is set up, but when you don't specify any order, it can just give you any order back. So limit's pretty easy. Just pass in how many results you want and it will only return those results for you. The natural partner to limit queries are offset queries. So limit will give you up to in results. So if you say limit three, it will give you the first three results. Offset is similar in that it takes a number, but instead of giving you however many results that you specify, it skips over the number of results that you specify and then returns everything from that point. So an example, if I do member.query all, I get Anthony, Michelle, Zach, and Carr. But if I do member.query offset one, this will skip over the first record and then give me everything after that. So I get Michelle, Zach, and Carr. If I do offset of three, I get just car because it skips over the first three results. And if I do an offset of something bigger than what's in the list, I get nothing. And of course I can combine this with limit. So if I do member.query and let's say offset two, limit one, so as you can imagine, just add the two together. So I want to offset two. So skip over the first two records and then give me everything after that, but limit it to one result. So basically I'm just asking for the third result. And in this case, it should be Zach because Zach is the third thing that's returned in this unordered query. And yes, I get Zach there. So limit and offset are uh, pretty much analogous in a sense, and they can be combined to do some powerful things.